Touching down on the tarmac in Bamako, then straight on to crisis talks. The latest round of dialogue got underway in Mali on Thursday with the hopes of five West African presidents all riding on the well-being of the country's future. A challenge lies ahead. ECOWAS had already suggested last week appointing a new constitutional court as well as forming a government of national unity. But the proposals were swiftly rejected by the opposition. Le Mali, depuis 2012, mais même avant, a connu euh, ses recettes, euh, a expérimenté ses unions, euh, ses, ses gouvernements d'union nationale qui ont euh, implosé, parce qu'il y avait plusieurs personnalités, plusieurs partis, qui n'étaient pas tous d'accord sur le plan programmatique, sur le plan du projet politique. This time, a coalition of politicians, religious figures and members of civil society, known as the June 5 movement, has united to hold power to account. Despite some concessions from President Keita, the M5, supported by a fringe group of the population riddled with unemployment and corruption, has continued to demand his resignation. Keita is facing accusations of failing to address a dire economic situation amidst Mali's eight-year jihadist conflict. It's a precarious situation, with the country's allies and neighbors fearful of a spillover effect, given it remains the epicenter of the security crisis in the Sahel.